Hi. Hold the presses. Half an hour continuous headline coverage on the terrestrial news channels. Forget the supposedly impending war. Never mind your own problems and having no viable future in the decaying system. The Queen has COVID. Such is the decadence of feudal capitalist UK that it appears everything revolves around this almost 96-year-old woman who is indeed the 21st century version of a living deity. It's almost as if everything depends on her continuous mortal existence. Those appearing on TV, radio, other media with the arrogant presumption that the entire population missed the heartbeat when they heard the news. There's so much invested in this one carbon-based life form, it feels like everything will fall apart without her semi-divine presence. They haven't even managed to figure out how to manipulate the transition to the repulsive, unpopular Charles. There's a sense of mild panic that the Platinum Jubilee may have to be curtailed in some aspects. It seems Old Sarpus has the omnicrant variety of Covid, a very mild infection. I know this because I've just had it. The Queen, or Her Majesty, as true monarchist brown noses call her, has a staff of 150 to attend to her every need in Windsor Castle alone. Her eventual demise will produce the greatest mass psychosis beyond imagination and comprehension. A tsunami of groveling deference, the sickness of class subordination, mindless acceptance of the status quo and our position within it. The population has been brainwashed to believe this unhealthy state of affairs is normal, something to revel in, to be defended. We're now in a state of suspended animation, a limbo. This is evident in the absence of street upheaval, emerging political alternatives. Maybe the old hag slipping her mortal coil might prove the cathartic aftermath to bring on an end to this shameful situation. Better be. Bye.